All right, folks, three minute five start to hear Kevin panic. Scene one, take one. Is it me? Scene one, take one, three minute five start. Is it me? All right, let's go. Start the three minute timer right there. So folks, the thing is, you know, you, you, you're wondering why it's taking you so long. You got a hundred hours. Now, it, hopefully you watched some of the other videos and you've seen that I talked about recency and all the things that are in the uh, fundamentals of instruction. You know, and, and, you, and you understand those things. So now you're trying to look at, you know, why is it 50 hours, 100 hours, and I still ain't solo, right? Or, you know, and I'm having a hard time here. Now, folks, I, I, I got my log book out because I want to show you that I was one of them like you. There's my pilot's log, original log book. I haven't filled it up because I ain't got, you know, more than 700 hours. But it took me over 20 hours to solo, okay? Over 20. And sometimes that's not in line with with normal things and in the military you know when they got trying to turn train up people for the war and everything they washed me out they would have washed me out i would have been a washout and i wouldn't have been able to uh, fly with the military because they would just say oh we ain't got time for you mr panic but uh so and that comes around when i was in around airplanes with my father in the air force you know watching the jets and everything now i didn't get in I, sometimes i sit in it you know they always sit in the thing but you know uh i only in ninth grade when I was in ninth grade, which I don't know how old you are in ninth grade, but you're young, 12 years old, or 14, something, I don't know. But, you know, I started learning in the book reading and stuff, like real learning about planes and stuff. So even with that background, it still took me 20 hours, okay? So I know the struggles, I know. So the title of this thing is, Is It Me? So it's about ego. So maybe you do need to look inward. Now, I'm also assuming that you've already gone through six or eight flight instructors, all right? That's an assumption we're going to make, that you still are kind of doing it, and that muscle memory ain't coming, and the sight picture ain't coming. But now you've hopefully looked at some of my other videos, because you might be able to find which ones is working for you that you're missing, maybe sight picture. But let's say you looked at all my videos, and you're still struggling. Now what we need to do is turn inward and look at the ego. Now, I tell you, my father, just about a week ago, told me, he said, you know, and, and I ain't gonna use the terminology that he did because he kind of, you know, tough, but he said, you know, he said, you watch your ego, Kevin, you know, uh, you, you got, uh, be careful, you know, watch that ego, break that ego down so that you can learn and be receptive and open to things, all right? So you might want to look at some counseling, all right? You might want to go and, and get with a counselor and understand, you know, is it is there something that you're blocking? Is there some uh, inherent thing that is not allowing you to be receptive? Are you telling the flight instructors that they're wrong? They don't know how to teach you how to fly? You know, because these people, they, they, they're, they're teaching lots of folks and getting them off the ground and giving them wings. So anyway, that's one thing is just kind of look inward, maybe get some counseling, just throwing that out there, folks. You, you get everybody on your team and having a little bit of counseling, understanding yourself would be helped. All right, sands of time have run out. So three minute flight instructor, ta-ta for now. Oh, I did it backwards. I'm not even thinking. Look at that. This is the what ta-ta. All righty. Thank you.